during the Friday prophetic service, of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. The man of God Apostle John Chi, move in the midst of the congregation. And the Spirit of God leads him to give messages of prophecy to the people. As the Bible clearly states in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God has promised not to leave his people in darkness. Jesus Christ is the light of the world and whoever follows him shall never walk in darkness. So, God loves you. What they introduce you to is affecting you. Yes, sir. So, what they did to you in the name of charm. Yes, sir. It's not working. Yes, sir. It's instead working against you. Yes, sir. So, because they did a charm for you. Yes, sir. Are they Peak of breakthrough, you just everything, see something will just happen, just you'll come shabba. back and start again. Yes, sir. I've suffered a lot, sir. He's free. Real. How are you? Fine, sir. Who is she? She's my wife. Huh? She's my wife. She's your wife. Yes, you listen to that? Yes, okay. He was not the one that spoke before. The one that spoke before has been cast out by Jesus. Yes, so don't for any reason remind him of what they said, okay? He's free and free forever. Amen. Thank you, Lord. My names are Ndip David Akum. The person standing next to me is my lovely wife. I'm here to confirm the word of prophecy which the man of God gave to me, Senior Apostle John Chi. He said, uh, there's uh, something that they, they introduced you into, which I confirm it to be true. It all started when we are small. My elder brother went and brought a witch doctor in the house for protection. When the witch doctor came, he used a blade on us, and he asked my elder brother to bring a live fowl. They roast the fowl, and we'll eat it. And he gave us some rings, give us a law that we should not bait for seven days. And we did that. Number eight day for me to go and bait, the, as I fell in the water, the ring just disappeared in my hand. And from that moment, things became worse in my life. The thing has make me to suffer a lot. Setback, limitation, spiritual wife. I'm working hard, but I'm not seeing anything on my hands. And the thing has caused, caused us in the family that my two elder brothers, they passed away. In my marital life, at times I would just sit like this. My wife would say, 
a little things like this, and I will just, I will just get angry. I just want to be on my own. I don't want to talk to anybody. If he wants to insist, I will just tell her that, just leave me alone. Let me just be. I want to think. Because of all this problem, the anger has made me to do so many things. I will just sit with my wife and discuss that we'll do this thing like this. And suddenly, I will just change everything. I will just ask myself, what is happening with me? Or when I will get up in the morning to do something, the thing is not moving. At times, I will be on Sunday like this, we will bathe and go to church. I will not talk to her. She will not talk to me. We will just stay like that. That thing has troubled me a lot. At times, we will pray things are not going. We will be like this. I will go to the job site. To walk, I cannot walk. I will be troubled. Things are not moving that way. And I will say, well, God, take over. At times, we'll be up to one week without talking to each other. And the thing has made me to face so many hardships. Poverty, we will sit at times, no food in the house. Even our house rent to pay is a problem. Even the money for me to, to transport myself to the job site is a problem. When I sleep in the night, I have spiritual wife. He came and make love with me in the night. And when I get up in the morning, stagnation, hardship, things are not moving. Because of this spiritual wife, no affection for my wife. At times, we are just like brother and sister in the house. With that, I said, I just told her that we will seek the face of God. That is what happened. It made us to come to Ark of God Covenant Ministry. On that faithful day, I prayed in the house in the night. I am my wife. I told her that as I'm going, I know God will look with me. And I know God will see me through. And that day, that faithful Friday, which God has already distanced for me to be liberated for everything. That day, man of God just woke up to me and said, brother, can I talk to you? I said, yes, sir. He said, there is something they introduced you to, which now is troubling your life. He said, in the past, I said, yes, sir. And I confirm it to be true. I said, all oh, these things have troubled my life a lot. And he said, you will walk in the midst of breakthrough. Everything will just crumble. I said, yes, sir. He said, as God has located you, everything is over. <laughs> After the prophecy, I was opportunity to go to the prayer line. I told God, this is my last booster. I have to be free from the hands of the enemy. And that day, man of God prayed for me. I sleep like a baby. In the power room, when the man of God was approaching me, I was shivering. There was a, lo a lot of heat in my body. As he approached me, he touched me. I just find myself in the floor. As he prayed, he said, the young man is free. And I get up. I felt that something has left me. And I thank God. After the prayers, the contract which I, I gave a, an estimate for, the man called me and said, we have to start the job. Urgent. He left here one day to Limbe. We start the job. People of God, I just want to thank God that today, I am free from the hands of the enemy. Acclamons pour le Maître Jésus Christ. After the deliverance, there are so many changes. No more spiritual wife. No more anger. No more limitation. I have contracts and I have enough now to eat in my house. <laughs> At first, when they give me contract, I will work. People will come and carry it. They will not pay. They will give me part of the money and say, we'll give part after. But they will not pay. But now, since my deliverance, they will give me contract and they will pay the money. And so many more contracts are coming to my life. And now, in my marriage, there is love. There is affection. There is peace. At times, I even help my wife to cook. I really want to thank God because that's, that prophecy has changed my life. I'm called Madame Akon of Linfai. 
The man standing next to me is my lovely husband. I want to confirm the word of prophecy that was given to him by Senior Apostle John Chi. To be true, it has not really been easy. We have passed through difficult times. As a woman, I stay with him in the house. At times, there is no food. We keep borrowing from one person to another. As a family, there is no unity. They don't work together. They don't even care about one another. There is quarreling. In my own home, any little thing I say, my husband will just get angry. There are some times that he will even get up and tell, and he will not even greet me. He will leave the house and go to work. On coming back, he has not even given me full money. I will run around by myself and look for something to prepare for him to come and eat. At times, we will leave the house to the church. We are not talking to each other. We will sit in the church. He's not talking to me. I'm not talking to him. We will come back to the house. At times, I will beg him. I will tell him that I'm sorry for nothing I have done. But he will not even listen to me. At times, he will just... Any little thing, he will just tell me that I should pack my things and go. We, we were living as brother and sister in the house. No affection. But I came to understand that something was wrong. So each time he's angry, I will not say a word. I will just be begging him that, Papa, anything I've done against you, just forgive me. Then at his job site, he will work for people. They will not pay him. At times, since he lives at my fault, he will trek from my fault to town just to attend to customers who will never even pay him. When he comes back to the house and I ask him how was today, he will just sigh. At the end of it, the anger will just rise from nowhere. He will never want to talk to me. Some few months ago, before we came here for the deliverance, he came and called me and told me that he wanted to talk with me. It was in the night. I went, we sat down. He told me that this marriage like this, he doesn't want it again. <laughs> that he's living a, a life of hardship pain, poverty, that maybe if he's alone, he can succeed. I didn't over a word. I just told him that, well, since you have said I should go, I will go in the morning. And I went and slept. In me, I was praying. I was just, because we have been watching Akom TV. I was telling God, oh God of Senior Apostle John Chi, restore my home. Restore my home. In me, I was not saying it aloud. After some hours, he came and touched me and told me that, Mama, what I told you, I'm very sorry. You will not go again. He told me that when he came to sleep on the bed, somebody came and gave him cold water to drink and told him that I am his wife, that he should not send me away. When we realized that something was wrong, he asked us to go and switch the Acom TV. And I asked him why. He said, the TV is making noise. And I asked him, are you not the one that put on that TV? He said, no, if you want me to stay in this house with you people, off that TV, because the TV is making noise and it is disturbing me. That is when I called the brother who was with me in the house. I told him, go and increase that volume. Because I learned that something was wrong. I said, go and increase that volume. We started praying like a month before the prophetic service. That man of God, senior apostle John, she should locate him. And God should bring the end to this situation. On that faithful day, he came here alone. And the man of God located him. I just want to thank God because the prophetic word has brought peace into our home. It has brought love. It has brought deliverance. It has brought breakthrough. We are living a life of joy now. Please. Deliverance at the power room. My husband is a changed person now. They, I'm really enjoying him. <laughs> we now sit and talk as well, husband and wife. The contracts are like urgent. They want him to do it sharp, sharp and give, and give them. Then, in the area of love, he's very lovely. He's a very good cook. He goes into the kitchen. He cooks and serves me food. At first, I will cook because of anger. At times, he will refuse to eat the food. But now, he eats it happily.
He's the one that is even, when he comes, Mama, you know what, cook? I really want to eat or bring me food. I will just bring the food to eat it happily. Then the days that he's not going to work, he's the one that cooks in the house. He goes, at times he follows me to the market. We'll go to the market, buy together, we'll come and cook. we we'll sit and talk like a family. Until the, our neighbors are saying that if there is something I should thank God for, I should thank God for having such a good husband. Since he got this contract, each time he's coming back home, he will always bring something nice for me. Like yesterday, he bought me a pack of yogurt, and I was like, ha! <laughs> I really want to thank God for restoring my home. I know that more better days are ahead. I'm so happy in my marriage now. My advice to women to couples who are facing the same challenge is that you should come closer to God because there is nothing impossible for God. The God that has restored my home will restore theirs in Jesus' name. People of God, I want to advise the congregation in a moment like this, don't run away from God. When you have problem in your house, don't bring a witch doctor in your house because they are coming to destroy, not to bring life. A devil will give you with a a right hand, and he's sending the other hand to collect. He will give you money, but at, later on, he will receive the money back and take away your peace and take away your joy. So my advice to parents, mothers, brothers, and sisters, don't run away from God. When you have a problem like this, run to God. And that is where your solution will come. And God will deliver your family. I promise to serve God all the days of my life. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can watch Apostle John Chi on Act of God TV, on Act of God TV app, or our live TV stream on johnchi.org. You can follow Apostle John Chi on all social media platforms. God bless you.